Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog. My name is James Martin from Magic Cut Media Promotion and listen, I wanna to talk to you about when you have your videos and you wanna upload them to social media or present them to your customers, what do you do? How is the proper way to get them from your customers? What are some effective strategies and options that you can use to uh, get your video in front of the right people? When you think about it, I mean, you're spending hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on a video. So it needs to be effective, not just how the video is, but how you market with your video and how you get it in front of the right people. So what do you do? Something I get asked quite often by my own clients is, what do you do your videos after you have them? So what I keep telling my clients is you got to figure out where are your customers? Where are they? Where are they looking at? Where are they searching? What social sites do they use? Where in public do they usually go? When are they usually there? When do they like to look at videos? When do they like to do those sort of things? That information is crucial and you need to figure that out before you get the videos out to your customers because that's when you can start to create an effective strategy to get your video out to those customers. Once you figure that out, then start thinking about some possible places where you can present your video. So some options are Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat are really popular video sites. Put it on a lobby television, put it on your website, blogs, newsletters, mobile apps, TV monitors, set up one of these in public places like maybe parks, festivals, trade shows, etc. Now, one of the trickiest things to use when you're posting your video is social media, but there are a few tricks that you can keep in mind so that your video is effectively getting in front of more customers in a better way. Like these, find hashtags that your current or potential customers might search up and draw a crowd, such as hashtag music, hashtag dance, hashtag music is life are just a few examples. Make sure you use no more than three hashtags per post as it can clutter your post and confuse your viewers what your message is. Next, use bold titles. If you're given the option to title your video, make it seem important and easy to understand what your video is about. You could use something like this, dancing is life, hyphen, your studio name, promo, and not just your studio promo number three. It's really annoying when the file name becomes the video title. Think about this. If your video does its magic and people really like what the video said or did, they will want to search it up and find it somehow. So names make it very easy to find. Use savvy descriptions. It should be at least one or two sentences long, straight to the point. If it's really long, if it's a really long post, most people are less likely to read the entire thing. Also, if you're using multiple videos that are the same thing, like vlogs, it's best to keep the descriptions as consistent as possible to make it easier for the viewer to understand. Use thumbnails. These are the very first thing people will see when they scroll across your video or try to search for it. Thumbnails are a still picture that gives viewers an instant idea about what your video is about. These are usually a screenshot within the video itself, Sites like Vimeo and YouTube will give you an option to either pick a screenshot they suggest or you can upload your own thumbnail. It's a great advantage. Creating your own thumbnail means you can make a poster that gives the viewer an even better understanding of what your video is about. Plus, it makes you look more professional. And finally, use keywords. Most social sites like Facebook and YouTube let you write certain words and phrases that are keywords, which means that when someone searches those certain words, your video has more chances to appear in front of them. So remember to try certain things and try again. If something doesn't work, don't do it. Try something else and keep going until you find something that does work. Eventually, you're going to get a strategy that works, that's simple, and it's going to make more effect in drawing in your customers. So let me know if this is helpful. If you have any questions, please shoot me an email at info at matchcutmedia.com. Thanks very much everyone for watching another vlog. I hope you have a great start to another great year and a great season at your studio. Best of luck and we'll see you next time.